Hello students, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the problems uh, that we have got from a pre-final examination. Uh, this is set number three questions. So, let's start with the first question. A fixed point is at a distance 60 mm from the fixed straight line. Trace the path of the curve if eccentricity is through by 3. Draw the tangent in normal at the distance of 40 mm from the directrix. So, here let's uh, split the question and at, uh, get the required data from the question. Fixed point is at a distance of 60 mm means focus point from the distance of straight line that is directrix D D dash. So, D D dash distance of focus point is 60 mm and eccentricity is 2 by 3. So, this is an ellipse. Draw the tangent in normal from the 40 mm from the directrix. So, let's write down the given data here. Here D D dash and the focus point uh, distance is uh, 60 mm E is 2 by 3 that is ellipse and uh, tangent and normal should be drawn at 40 mm from D D dash right. So, let us start the problem here. This is directrix fixed straight line D, D dash and uh, this is AF 60 mm from here I will be taking 60 mm. This is focus point F and here our eccentricity is 2 by 3 means we have to add 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 parts means we have to divide this 60 mm into 5 parts. I will be dividing each part 12 mm 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, this is 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 part. So, here coming to the eccentricity, we have to locate the vertex point at numerator, right, 2 parts from the focus. So, here 0, 1, 2, 2 parts. So, here we have to locate the vertex. From here, we have to draw the straight line, take the compass, measure the distance, draw an arc which cuts the straight line. Uh, from here, from the A, we have to draw an array. Right. Then take appropriate divisions on this focus line. This is the vertex focus. So, I will be taking uh, <coughs> 1 centimeter line apart and from here draw the line which cuts this array up and down. Even you can take this array down also but no need. If you repeat the same process of uh, Measuring the distance from here and keeping it the focus, we can draw on the same line. So, no need of uh, the extra lines. The array will be going so on. Until we finish the focus. and finish the ellipse. So, let us name them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and so on. Now, measure this distance from this line to this line. This perpendicular is cutting this one, right? So, measure this distance Keep it here, draw an arc. This is the first point. 
next measure this distance this distance keep it f cut on 1 up and down next on 2 keep on f cut on 2 next 3 keep on f cut on 3 next coming to 4 cut 4 line keeping on f next 5 next 6 7 8 9 and so on you will be getting the points like this so these are the points You can get the points here also, uh, but for the time consuming, I'm not drawing all the lines, uh, but the method is same lines, perpendicular lines that cuts the array, and from the array you have to measure this point and keep on F and draw arcs. You will be getting like this. So join these points, right? So mention this P naught. P1, P2, P3, P4, P5 and so on here coming to this one P1 dash, P2 dash exact P1 down, P1 dash, P2 down, P2 dash, P3, P4 and so on you can complete the arc by freehand diagram, uh, freehand uh, methods Or else you, you can follow the French curve. You can use these type of uh, French curves. Uh, you can choose the appropriate uh, shape of the French curve for drawing from one point to the another point. You will be getting a neat curve. Here you can get the neat and uh, smooth curve by using these type of French curves. You'll be having a bigger set also. You can use uh, for the appropriate shape of your uh, diagram. Um, my diagram is a little bit small, so I'll be using the small French curve. If your figure is big, so you can use the bigger one. Method is same. Now we have finished uh, with these things. Uh, let me mention the dimensions over here. This is uh, 60. Now, uh, it is given in the question that you have to locate the tangent and normal 40 mm from the directrix. So, let's take the 40 mm distance from the directrix. So this is the 40 mm distance and uh, draw a line which curves the curve. So, at this point, we have to locate the tangent and normal. This is the point on which we have to draw the tangent and normal on this curve. So you can draw above or below also it is touching. It is not mentioned that you have to draw the above or below. So you have, uh, it would be easy for taking the above one. So let's take this point M. 
from M you have to draw a line to the focus. From the focus, taking this line onto one scale and you have to draw the perpendicular line to another one from F to the D D dash. This is the point where it is touching the directrix. This is 90 degrees over here. Now you have to draw the line from this point to this point. So this would become tangent and perpendicular to the tangent you will be getting a normal. normal. Here you can observe the only the curve is dark and tangent normal is dark and uh, coming to the reference points, points are dark. Other reference line, this line, this line and other perpendicular reference lines or arcs or 90 degrees lines are very light and thin. So whenever you are drawing the engineering uh, graphics or drawing, you have to show the main drawing dark and others very light. I hope everyone understand uh, this uh, question. A fixed point is at a distance 60 mm from the fixed straight line trace the path of the curve. If eccentricity is 2 by 3 and draw the tangent in normal at a distance of 40 mm from the direct. For this question, this is the answer. I hope everyone understand this one, how to draw it. And uh, do subscribe the channel and follow it regularly for the upcoming videos in engineering, drawing and graphics. Thank you.